what's up team so you guys today we're gonna do something fun interesting a lot of you guys you think you know me but i don't think you really know me so i want to just make this fun and let you guys know 30 things about me yes 30 things about me uh which is interesting because a lot of people you're going to be shocked surprised but we want to keep it fun and spicy right number one I am afraid of the dark yes me yes I sleep with the lights on every night me and my babe and I eat I even <laughs> have the kids they sleep with the lights on too because I don't want nobody sleeping in the dark yeah so I need to get delivered from that all right number two the thing about me is I had hay fever all throughout childhood so I couldn't breathe I had Horrible allergies, so I was just very congested. And I think the first time I was able to breathe out of my nose was when I was about 12 or 13. But yeah, horrible hay fever. All right, number three, you know, I failed kindergarten. Yes, I failed kindergarten. What? Who fails kindergarten? It should be easy, right? But I did because I was bad. I was not mature enough to go to first grade, so I had to repeat kindergarten all right number four is I used to rob men yes when I was a dancer an, uh, an exotic dancer I used to you know be dancing on them and rubbing on the side of their hips pulling up out that wallet you know and taking out those you know those bills amen those hundreds and those G's or whatever you know I used to rob a lot of guys yeah and I can tell you so many stories about that or how I almost got shot and had guns pulled on me but We'll leave that, you know, for another, you know, another time. All right. All right, number five is I started stripping when I was 13. Yes, 13 years old, which is, um, hmm, we need to watch our kids, right? But I started at 13, so. All right. I am afraid of heights. Yes, I am afraid of heights. All right, I'm very afraid of heights, like. Uh, going on the Ferris wheel or you know I just close my eyes the whole time on a roller coaster I close my eyes the whole time yeah it's just really hard all right number seven I can't swim I cannot swim you guys yeah um somebody threw me in the water a long time ago and it just yeah it just messed me up so I'm, I never even gave it a chance all right so guess what you guys I wrote a movie script before Amen. Number eight, I wrote a movie script. Yes, a play. It was based on a horror film. Amen. But I am going to write another movie, you know, a Christian movie soon. Me and my husband. Number nine, I can draw really good, you guys. I can draw houses really good. I can draw food. Excellent. Really, really good food. And I can also draw people. But when it comes to houses and uh, food, all right. Number 10. I uh, used to do hair. That's right. I wasn't. I was never a registered or a certified cosmetologist, but I was. I used to make a lot of money doing hair. I brought my first car at 16 because I was doing hair. You know, I spent the whole summer, you know, braiding hair, and I brought my first car. It was a hoopty, but I brought it. Number 11. You know, I had to do over a hundred hours of community service. I'm talking about the kind of community service where you wear a vest, one of those orange vests, and you pick out trash uh, on the side of the street and pick up animal poop in a farm and yeah, at the fair. Yeah. All right. Um, the next thing about me is I got over, I got in over 20 fist fights. Yes, I used to be a fighter in like middle school, high school. You know, my early college days. Yes. The 13th thing about me is I had pink hair for a season. P 
pink hair, you guys. Yes. See, when I was in the world, little Kim used to inspire me. And so I was ghetto. So she had this, all these wigs on. So I wore pink hair. I did. You know, I even shaved my eyebrows off and I put some pink <laughs> lip liner on my eyebrows. And I had pink cornrows and this, my hair was pink for a season. But yeah, thank God I grew out of that. The 14th thing about me is I get nervous sometimes before I speak. Yes. But it's something about when I go out there and preach the anointing of God. It comes on and all that fear just leaves. Alright. The 15th thing about me is that you didn't know about me is I am so scared, you guys, of rodents, rats, <laughs> roaches, snakes. I am just, I will freeze up and I will scream on the top of my lungs. I cannot. I used to stay in this apartment and it had rodents. Uh, I, I, I said, God, you got to get me up out of here. You know, but I was just for a season. All right. The next thing about me is... I got delivered from homosexuality. Yes, I was in a uh, homosexual relationship. Not not long, but, you know, maybe about six months. And then, I thank God I got delivered. Woohoo! God is so good. So, God can, if he, if he do it for me, he'll do it for you. Alright. I wanted to be a pulmonologist. Um, some people don't know what that is. That's a lung doctor. I, I used to be a respiratory therapist. You know, checking on the lungs, and I wanted to be a doctor. Many of you do know that, but I wanted to be a lung doctor, a pulmonologist. All right. The next thing about me, guys, that you probably didn't know is I got a certificate in chiropractor assistant. You know, a certificate. I um, made my daddy and my sister go with me, my sister Ashley. I said, y'all got to take this class with me. The class for that certificate is only like, what, I think it's like three to six months. I got it. I never used it. The next thing about me is, you guys, I know this sounds crazy. I love to dig out earwax. I love to dig out earwax. I can just dig. I love to dig in my ears to get the wax out. I love to dig in my kids' ears to get the wax out. Even my babe. I'm like, babe, come here. You know, and I like to get the wax out. But he won't let me, you guys. He's like, stop picking on me. Stop. Stop. But I just... If I see somebody with the, you know, the wax around there, I'm just so tempted. Like, oh, I want to get it out. But, yeah. All right. The next thing about me, you guys, is I had cricket teeth. Cricket teeth up until the age of 21. I got braces when I was, like, 18. I had to buy my own braces, of course, doing hair and sliding down the pole. But, yeah. I, my teeth were jacked up cricket until I got about 21 years old. All right. The next thing about me is I have a heel fetish. You know, I love heels. Like, I used to have so many pairs of high heels. You know, even the high ones, I couldn't even walk in. I just buy it. You know, just buy all these heels in my closet. Yeah, so one day I would love to get back just having a closet just for my shoes. You know, I love heels. All right. The next thing about me, you guys, on a serious note, is I battled low self-esteem for years. You know, I just looked in the mirror and I didn't feel I was attractive. Uh, just just all the pain and rejection I went through, I just felt like I wasn't pretty. You know, so I had low self-esteem uh, for years. The next thing uh, about me is I can, I can paint some fingernails, you guys. I can design nails. I can put the lines and the swoops, you know, the tips on there. I can, I can do some nails, but I don't wear fingernails big because... I worked in the hospital for years and they, they told us not to wear fingernails, especially with like people with asthma, so sensitive. So I just, I stopped wearing nails, but I can do nails. I love building from the ground up. God can just give me an idea and I just take that idea and step out on faith and God will launch plenty of things. You see the magazine, for George's Central Magazine, you see the books, you know, everything about this ministry, uh, it's been built from the ground up. You know, so I love building. I love new projects. I just love to build. I seen Jesus Christ over 10 times. I had many visitations from the Lord when I first got called as a prophet or just starting a ministry that he's given me. Uh, I seen him many encounters and I'm going to write a book about that, you guys, about my encounters with Jesus. All right. This one is yucky. I ate a roach by accident. I ate a roach. Uh, in my apartment when I was a kid, we grew up in these military houses, a housing, and uh, we had roaches everywhere. So I remember sleeping on my back, mouth open, 
And I woke up in the morning, I was like, and I was spitting out legs. And it was the nastiest, bitterest taste in my mouth ever. So I ate a roach in my sleep by accident. It was gross. Alright. Um, I can pick up things with my toes. Uh, like my toes are like another set of hands for me. I can pick up things. I pick up like, you know how you drop like your face wash in the shower. I pick up my face wash with my toes all the time in the shower. Or a pencil on the floor. I just pick it up, you know. Um, so my, my babe is kind of freaked out by that. He's like, babe, you got some claws, you know. But anywho, I've been arrested before, twice. I've been arrested twice before. You know, I had an anger issue, bitter scorn. So, yes, and when I was arrested, I was in a suicide ward. Twice, you guys. And that was like the pivotal turning point in my life to make me get on fire for God and stop playing games. All right. 29 is, I love to be pregnant. The next one, I love to be pregnant. Whew, when I'm pregnant, you know, I already got a glow on me, but I get an extra, extra, extra glow. Um, and I just eat whatever I want, and, you know, I just love being pregnant. And I never really got morning sickness, you know, so I love being pregnant. I love having a little waddle. You know, I just love it. You know, I love feeling the baby move in my stomach. I love, you know, this... How you like my body changes. So I love that. Alright, the last one you guys is I love when my husband plays in my hair. Yes. I love it. Like, you know how a dog just falls asleep, you know, when you pet him? That's how I'll be. Every time I touch my hair, I'm just like, babe, you're gonna put me to sleep. So these are things about me 30 things about me that you probably didn't know some of you probably knew something but you probably didn't know as much so i thank you guys for watching this was just something fun something quick amen so i'm gonna see you guys for the next broadcast deuces